finding love may be easier than you think. Allie joins us with more on that. Hey, Allie. Hello. Um, lots of people out there looking for love, but as the saying goes, many of them are looking for it in all the wrong places. So I have Felix Wolf, author of The Art of Navigation, here to show us how we can find love out there. Thank well, um, how to find love? <laughs> the problem is often that we are just too narrowly focused on, on uh, an idea we might have in our head about the perfect mate, and, and we're overlooking... Um, um, things that the universe uh, wants to tell us. Like, let's say we have a first date uh, okay. downtown in a coffee shop and, and uh, the car doesn't want to start, all lights are red, we don't find a parking spot. And I think that should definitely make us wary. Or on the other hand, maybe all the lights are green, my favorite song is playing in the radio, and, and so that would make, me, would make me confident that maybe that's a special person I'm going to meet. Really? So sort of the outside factors of our world could exactly. maybe have an effect on this. Like you can't find your contacts that morning or, you know, your... Yeah, I, I mean, we have this natural intuition, but, mm -hmm. but we kind of forgot about it or we don't trust it. And it's maybe like random. Everybody likes it if, if it happens, but we don't, we don't trust it. We don't make it... Um, um, we don't use the resource really like we could. Okay, so do you think also maybe sometimes we might sabotage ourselves, like maybe we're not ready to find love, so therefore we make ourselves late or something like that. Do you think that could also be a factor? Well, that's definitely possible that something in us creates the obstacles uh -huh. because we're not ready, like you say. Right, so you say that someone who's looking for love can use the art of navigation to sort of mm -hmm. turn their way to finding love. What do you mean by that? Yeah, the art of navigation is just simply navigate, meaning uh, integrate a little bit more than just uh, a narrow thought-based approach. You know, just like I said, integrate environmental factors and just the energy that surrounds a certain event. You know, mm -hmm. like um, if if it feels good, uh, just earlier I saw the um, um, the Wheel of Fortune segment. You know, I um, I've got a good feeling about this, and just kind of uh, connect with this feeling we have about the situation, and not just focus on where we are going for and what we are looking for, like with a shopping list. So if you have like a feeling, then you sort of go for it. I actually found love in a very unusual place, which was on TV on a TV show. So and it was all based about finding love. So I don't know. I don't know what that says about me. And well, I would say that if, if it's an unusual place, a special place, it's probably a very special love also mm -hmm. that uh, it's not uh, arbitrary. I think it has a, it, it, it has a special meaning I mean, more than just like an arbitrary or random encounter would have. Or maybe it's also going to be a more public love affair than, because it was on television. Well, that's true that also. <laughs> <laughs> but I like that, that special unusual love. Yeah. So how can someone, you say there's sort of like a checklist we can use to find love. How can someone sort of use that checklist? Well, yeah, because usually f while, while we all know these events and while we can connect to it, but it's, it's not often, it hasn't happened often enough, so we don't uh, trust it. So there is five elements, of five behavioral elements, of five skills we can hone or, 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 or concentrate on that help us to, to bring out this, um, this perception. Like one is uh, intent, like, um, what, like to become clear what we really want in life, not just with a partner, not just to have a clear idea how the partner should look like, but how we envision our life. And the second element is... Um, um, passion and enthusiasm, a check with us what really gets us excited okay. in, 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 in relationship to a, a, a partner. I mean, everything around it and not just, again, the, the, just how you sh should look like or how much you should earn. Uh, the third element is um, patience. You know, this is very important. You know, just not rush it and allow it for it to happen naturally. And another element is um, I call it impeccability. Just always try to give your best, you know, just do your best, you know, prepare for like the meeting, the encounter, just, you know, put your best um, self into, into the, 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 the um, um, date. And the last element is um, presence, being alert and aware mm -hmm. all the time, because otherwise you never see what's, what's going on. You don't feel the energy surrounding the event. Great. Well, in, in sort of you have written a book about this. What inspired that for you? Well, the inspiration came out of work with teenagers. My wife, Carmela, and I, we were both acupuncturists, and we worked for four years okay. with troubled teenagers in a boarding school in Montana. And, and, you know, you're working with these kids. We did acupuncture, herbal medicine, and other modalities, medical modalities. But we also d did life coaching with those kids. And, and we always noticed when we told stories about our, you know, our navigational stories that that's when they really caught 
Um, but that, that's when they really caught on. That's when they were excited. And they asked um, if there's anything written about it. So the first thing I did was writing a handout, a handout that we gave them. Mm -hmm. And out of this handout grew then uh, the book about the art of navigation. Look, well, then if you want to pick up the book, you can actually find some tips on once you find love, how to keep it. And we've posted exactly. a link on our website where you can find uh, the art of navigation. And thank you again, Felix. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, Raul. Back to you. Okay, and thank you both. Hey, ever wish it could be James Bond? The new